YouTube, what up though? Jermaine the Credit Fiend, welcome to my YouTube channel. So I was asked a question, I knew it was coming. Hey, when you talk, when I speak about manipulating, um, understanding and legally manipulating the FICO factors, what am I talking about? I'm like, can you give us a little taste? <laughs> right? I can give you a little taste. Yes, of course. When, when my subscribers ask a question, man, I'm like, yo, you know, I offered the training now, you didn't attend, but I'm going to share you something with you guys. We're going to talk. I'm just going to go with payment history. I'm just going to pick one. That's the biggest one. Let's give you guys a little taste of what I'm talking about. So payment history is the biggest part of your score. We all know that, right? Everybody know that, right? Well, if you didn't, now you know. <laughs> here it is right here, right? The breakdown of FICO, right? Payment history, amount owed. You all see that's the third highest category than the two. The last two are 10%. But we're going to focus on payment history percentage, all right? Um, The lowest score is 300. The highest score is 850. So really, people, we're on the 550-point scale system. For, for credit scoring that's it all right so 35 percent of that we're going to use fico language right this is what i had come i came up with in my my time in the credit repair industry when i finally learned it that is <laughs> right i mean i trial and error people i'm like i want to figure this thing out so 35 percent of 550 is like really like 192.5 points so all right you know you can say 193 or you can just say 192 but anyway well that's the largest part of the score Right. So what how can you get the max points in this category? Well, there's only well two ways. A hundred percent on all open accounts and a hundred percent on all closed accounts. Meaning like you got no neg no late payment whatsoever on closed accounts. None on open accounts. Then guess what? Then regardless of how you know your credit, you know, how long you had credit or whatever, FICO for payment history, a hundred percent people is a hundred percent. All right. So by you adding another count to it or whatever, you are at 100%. It's not like it's going to go to 105, right? You get, you're getting the max points in that category. But what about for those, you know, normally, you know, my clients, okay, of course, the top thing was going to be late payments, right? <laughs> Charge-offs and stuff like that, defaults. So that means what? Well, they're not getting the max points in that category. <clears throat> I'll give you an example. I'm uh, a client that I had, she had a, a, a vehicle um, and her dad, the on-time payment history percentage for that vehicle was 54%. She had a overall, so payment history as well as amount over. We're going to stick with payment history. Two subcategories, people. Individual account payment history percentage. And then all accounts combined. So if you go to like Credit Karma, don't, don't worry about the score. All right? That's a real score. People, they're creditors that use Vantage score. Right? But if you go to Credit Karma, we just focus on the information. Don't worry about the score. And you... See TransUnion, you see Equifax. If you click on TransUnion or Equifax, it don't matter. Scroll down until you see the um factors. And the first one I'm gonna say payment history. You look at that. That's what I would do in the consultation. I would look at that information. I would say, well, I want to look at it. Just tell me. <laughs> I do consultation on the phone. I don't need to look at the credit report. I can tell you what you got going on, right? If I hear someone say, well, I'm like, what's the payment history percentage? Ninety percent. Well. That that percentage is tracking all open accounts. So that's telling me what? That person has late payments on open accounts. Okay? You see? So now if you talk, if you think about it, they're at 90%. Now, if you look at 192 points, and let's just use open accounts right now. I'm like, okay, what's 90% of 192? So that's a lot of points missing right there, right? You see what I'm saying? It's a lot of points. I can just you can just calculate and say, well, I know how many points this person is missing as far as open accounts. But then you go to the closed accounts. Hmm. All right. You may have some closed account that you close positive, but it have negative information attached to it. So the question I'm going to ask is, and you can check on your credit karma or the Experian app. Okay, for that account, closed account that I closed, but I have late payments attached to it. Right there where it's, you know, had the months of where you make all your payments right above that, it's going to say you, you know, made X amount of percent on time on this account. Look at that information because if that is less than 98% or I mean less than 100%, you lost points, people. Even on that closed account, it's probably take years for the recover, but we're trying to expedite it. Remember, we're trying to backdoor it. So, but first we got to gather the information. See, what is the total damage Right now, for payment history, are you in with open and closed account? And guess what? You can get some of those points back. That's right. You can get them back. Let me give you an example. The client that I had with the 54% on-time payment history percentage. So first thing we got to do is refinance that vehicle. You got to refinance it. I'm not disputing all these late payments. I mean, she had it for about two years. So think about it. That's like 11 months 
you know, almost 10, 11 months of late payments out of two years. I'm surprised she still had it. But I'm like, we're going to refinance. And she didn't understand. Well, what is that going to do? Are they going to delete all the late payments? No. That's that's an anchor account, right? Right now, it's an open account with 54% on time. I can tell you right now the damage that it's causing in your payment history percentage. We're going to backdoor it. We're going to close. You're going to refinance. That means they're going to close that account out. That 54% is no longer impacting the on-time payment history percentage for open accounts. But there's no information to replace it yet because FICO needs at least two to three months of, of um, payment history on that new account. But we waited that. And after about two months, a little over two months, I know I got that phone call from excitement because the score increased 46 points. And I'm like, okay, fine. Now, that's what I was waiting on. Now it's going to go up again next month based on the information. I'm running the numbers, the factors. I'm running all the numbers. Based on the information, we should see another increase. You see what I'm saying? Because what one thing I did was replace a 54, what we did, replace a 54% on-time open account, close it out, replace it with a 100% on-time op- um, account. That 100% now is it's an open account, and it's a part of the payment history percentage for open accounts. So she went from the 80-something percent on-time payment history percentage automatically to like 90, 92 or 93 but I'm like, the next month, it's going to go up some more. The next month, for about three or four months, based on my calculation, it's going to slowly increase and then it's going to kind of cap off. But by then, it's going to matter because we're going to be taking other actions for those other accounts. So you can backdoor it by doing that. If you have an account that's riddled with late payments or have low payment, uh, on-time payment history percentage, 70% or whatever, and it's an open account like a vehicle, people refinance it. Refinance that. Refinance it. That's right. Right? Because... Regardless of what you say, well, you know, well, it's going to mess up my length of credit. Well, which one outweigh this 15% outweigh 35%? It doesn't. And guess what? When you refinance, you're refinancing a lower amount. That's going to get triggered too. So you're really doing yourself some justice when you do that. But if you sit there and allow it and you're trying to dispute these late payments, you're wasting time. You could have taken another action, replace it with that 70%, but now a couple months later got 100%, and you can always go back and try to dispute, look for inaccurate, incomplete, unverifiable information on that seven, that one that you just closed out. Remember, when you refinance, they're going to pay that off. So it's going to close positive, but now it got negative information. It still had negative information attached to it, so it's still considered a negative account, right? But you cannot just dispute accurate information, so you got to identify information which you can dispute. Right. That's what you got to do. And you can help yourself even, you know, you know, if, you know, get that deleted. But I can't make any promises or guarantees of anything getting deleted. And you can't either. You can't control the outcome of any investigation. The only thing you can control is your dispute. That's all you can control. And you also can control this making take making moves, not waiting on time and definitely not relying on deletions. Right. That's what most people in the credit repair right now relying on deletions to determine whether they're successful or not. Meanwhile, you got myself and others, we're like, well, we ain't worried about it if I can't get deleted. This client just scored just went up 46 points, right? Just for making one move so far, refinancing a vehicle. You, you see what I'm saying? So now that pressure of getting a deletion, it's not there no more because they see what? Improvement. But you can't just worry about one side of the house. You got to look at like the whole, the big picture. We're talking about credit scoring, too. Do you understand? If you're in credit repair and you're talking about accepting clients, do you understand credit scoring? Because if not, you're going to solely rely on deletions and verify it as accurate. It's going to shut you down. It's going to have you on them groups asking questions. Hey, y'all, what do I do? I, my client got this back. I know what I'm talking about. For those who know, they know. Well, I don't know what to do next. But you're charging this person. You gave your, you know, you told this person you can help them. And then they verified as accurate, got you running to these credit repair groups looking for answers and stuff like that, right? YouTube and or whatever, because you forgot about credit scoring. You still can help that client. Credit scoring. We got, I mean, I just remember this client. We got the 700s in no time. She was in 560 on one, 550 or something like that. 700 in no time, right? That's from just manip- manipulating legally or backdooring FICO's factors. Just using the factors to help increase the score. That's what I'm talking about. So that just went on payment history. And yes, you know, it, people, it works. Okay. Um, but you don't have to do it. I'm just sharing information. I'm not, 
I'm not trying to enforce force no one to do nothing, right? Don't do nothing that you don't understand, right? Don't do nothing that you don't understand. Get a full understanding of it. But the people, if you want me, I, I offer that training for a fee. I do small groups or I do individual. If you need that, and contact me, all right? Especially if you're in the credit repair because this right here can be a game changer for you and help your clients out and get that stress. I know that pressure off your back from getting that, um, getting items deleted or whatever, okay? That's it. I'm not trying to aid. Hey, it's up to you, the individual. Do it or not. I just know what works. <laughs> I know what works. And and what made my time in the credit repair was accepting clients, working by myself. I didn't have no team. That was it. It was just me and my clients. That's it. But I, you know, trying to help people out as quick as possible because it's just me. I had no one else to rely on except for me and my knowledge or whatever. And I, I, I take it very seriously because working on their credit was just like working on mine. Right. That's it. I just saw it that way. Everybody, every client I had, whatever report I was in front of me, it was like it was my own report. Right. Well, what would I do for myself? Well, I'm going to make sure I do the same thing for this individual right here because they one, They trust in me and they're paying me, too. So I got to make it worth. I got to I got to make it worth it. OK, so I just want to share this information again, not twisting arms. But hey, if the question was asked, give us a little taste of it. Well, that's how you do payment history. There's more to it as well. But that's all I said. I, you asked for a little taste. <laughs> that's a little taste. Of course, there's other information too. But if you need that, contact me, whatever. We can set something up. People, I won't bust you in the head or whatever. And the information, I can charge a whole lot of money for it, right? Because there's a lot of information, but it can, it's very helpful, all right? I'll catch you guys on the next one. Don't forget, show me some love. Give me a thumbs up. You ain't got to agree with it or whatever. It's all good. <laughs> I already know. I got, people, we're, we're not going to all agree. All right? I got that. So, you know, you can do the thumbs up, thumbs down, don't matter. You two don't, you know, they ain't holding me. They don't hold that against people for, you know, giving the thumbs down for that. So, you got some trolls out there. I know I do. But, <laughs> but click that subscribe button if you have not subscribed. Check out some of my other content. I will be deleting my content in about a week or two, people. All the videos on my channel except for members only. And some, some videos I'm going to slide over to the members only, whatever. I got to revamp this channel. So, don't forget to hit that bell notification. And if you want to be a member, the link is in the description. $4.99 a month. You can cancel anytime, people. No hard feelings, all right? I'll catch you guys on the next one. Be safe out there. Peace.